Hey guys, I'm Vicky. Today I'm gonna to be doing a grocery haul for my family. I have two kids, so there's four of us in the house in total. We also have a cat, but we buy bulk for him. So on a weekly basis, I don't tend to have to top up his food. He takes his business outside, so I don't have to buy kitty litter or anything of like that for him. So he's fairly, he's pretty good really. He's not a particularly expensive pet to keep. On the other hand, the kids are quite expensive. So um, these are the groceries that I've bought today. I'm just gonna talk you through them and the few meals that I have planned. Um, I quite like doing meal planning wherever I can. That's not to say that I do it every single week. A lot of the time I do end up falling into this kind of ad hoc basis thing where I either cobble something together from what I've got in the cupboards and in the fridge and in the freezer, or I go to the supermarket on a daily basis. So. This week I'm managing to avoid that. I've got enough for meals for the entire week for all of us, which is really good. Mostly we'll be eating exactly the same stuff, but a couple of meals that my kids probably won't eat either because they've got spice in or they're just a little bit fussy about it. So a couple of things we'll be having differently and I'll try and highlight those as we go along. Okay guys, so let's just work our way from left to right. So first of all, Got these chunky cod fish fingers by Young's. These are really nice. I had these for the first time the other week and they were delicious. So have those either with chips or with salad, whatever. Um, but the kids will eat those as well, so that's perfect. Um, still in the frozen section here, I've got some of these chicken dippers uh, by Bird's Eye. The other week I bought their chicken nuggets, which were covered in some kind of whole grain breadcrumb, and the kids were like, What are these? What are these? These aren't what we normally have. So, um, lesson learned after Chicken Nugget Gate. Don't change from the chicken dippers. That's what they like, they know what they like, and that's all they're having. Um, I also stocked up on batteries because they had double A's and triple A's on offer. Since Christmas, um, we've had a few more toys that are battery operated, and I've just found that we're going through them a lot quicker, so I wanted to stock up there, and they were on offer, so that was handy. Uh, got some more rinse aid for the dishwasher. Nappy pants for Bella. Um, I am gonna try my best to potty train her in the first six months of this year. She's now three, so we need to get cracking on that. She just hasn't been ready, and I am not going to force it. Couple of packs of wipes there. I like the hard top wipes. I think they're much easier to use, although obviously they are a bit more expensive, but that's just my personal preference. Got some broccoli there because, I'll just move over here quickly. Tonight we're gonna have roast chicken, yum. It's a Sunday as I film this. So I've got broccoli, I've got potato, I've got spinach, there's peas over there. There's cauliflower still um, in the fridge from the other day when I went to the supermarket. So it's gonna be a really, really nice roast. Very much looking forward to that. Um, here I've got some salmon which I'm gonna do like a garlic ginger honey roast with, and I will serve that with some sugar snap peas, which I've got up here. Yummy sugar snap peas. And some green beans. And I'll, then I'll just serve that with some rice, so that'll be a really nice meal. The kids should eat that, because they quite like honey. They might be a bit funny about the ginger, but we'll see there. Um, I've got some apples because the kids love to snack on their apples. Um, I've got some anchovy fillets in olive oil and some pitted kalamata olives. I'm going to make a spaghetti sauce, um, spaghetti tomato sauce with those. So I'll just use a can of chopped tomatoes. I've already got quite a large selection of chopped tomatoes in the cupboard already from a previous shop. So it's those with that. Do you know what? I'll link the recipe below so that you can see but it just makes a nice um, veggie pasta um, meal for midweek, which is good, and the kids should eat that too. If you're a bit funny about anchovies, to be honest, you kind of dice them up and you don't really notice them. They basically dissolve in the sauce and they just add a bit of seasoning and flavor. I've stocked up on my low salt stock cubes, got beef and chicken. I always buy the very low salt stock cubes just because you know you get enough salt from all of the other foods in your life. So I try and keep the salt content of the stock cubes low. So I buy these Kalo low salt ones wherever I can. And actually these were on offer today. They were like 25p off per box. So stocked up on beef and chicken there, which is all good. So I've got some chickpeas here. I've got some cauliflower in the fridge, some of which I'm gonna use with the roast dinner tonight, but some of it I will use to make a nice veggie curry. So 
few chopped tomatoes, this, I'll use some like garam masala. Um, I think I've got a medium curry powder in the, um, in the spice cupboard actually. A bit of cumin um, and, and just cook that, cook that together. Add a bit of heat in there too with some chili powder. That'll be nice. So the spinach here, that's for the roast dinner. I've got a pork fillet here which I'm just going to cook into a stir fry. So I've got some noodles, some rice noodles already. So what I'll do is I'll probably cook that with the leftover beans and sugar snaps from the salmon dish. Um, add a little bit of soy sauce, just a really, really, really simple stir fry with that. And then as I said, serve it with some rice noodles. Kids probably won't eat that. So that'll be the night that they can have some of the chicken dippers. Um, got some unsalted butter here i use that a lot so often for lunch we will have scrambled eggs you real butter in that uh, pancakes use that in that um all sorts of things that i need that for so i've stocked up on that strawberries the girls have this either as a pudding or as a snack they just go mad for them got some more maris piper potatoes there <gasps> mini eggs i'm on a no buy january and um, someone messaged me on Instagram say when I, I showed some mini eggs that I bought and they said, but you're on no by January. Food doesn't count and this is food, okay? I, I'm, I'm gonna let myself have some treats, guys. So um, I am on a no by January. So the new dress, no. The bag of mini eggs, yes, okay? Just to clarify the rules of no by January in my world. Uh, got some more maple syrup there. Probably do pancakes for the girls at some point. Um, these are capers that are also going in with um, those olives and the anchovy fillets for that veggie pasta that I was talking about. Um, I'm going to link the recipe for that below in a bit. So with this roast chicken, because it's quite a large one, it should feed us tonight. And then it should also do us leftovers tomorrow. So what I'll either do is I will serve it with some chips, mashed potato, or I will chop it up and make a very, very simple curry sauce and just add the chicken right at the end after the curry sauce is cooked just to warm it through. So there's all sorts of things you can do with leftover chicken. I always buy the biggest chicken that I can get because I know that I can get quite a lot out of it um, for not too much cost, which I just really, really like. So it's quite a small haul guys, but there's quite a lot that I can do with it. And I feel like, you know, after the excesses of Christmas, it's a reasonably healthy haul as well. Just like sort of ignore, ignore the yellow bags over there. And um, it's a reasonably healthy haul with like lots of greens, got some chickpeas there. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite good uh, about this week in terms of meals. Okay guys, so that's my grocery haul and my meal plan for the week. Really hope that it gave you a few ideas. Um, I just wanna add, by the way, if you're thinking like, where's your milk, where's your bread? That's something that I picked up in a very, very quick to the shops yesterday. So I find that in the week, I'm constantly like popping to the shops to like stock up on milk, stock up on bread. So I never quite manage a week of only going to the supermarket once, like a full seven days, one supermarket trip. Maybe I should challenge myself to that like one week, I don't know, how often do you manage to go to the supermarket? I, I just find I always have these little chop up trips. So my hauls are always, you know, slightly, like they're not a full haul as it were, because I've already got a few bits and pieces from previous, um, previous visits. So it's more of kind of a mini haul, semi haul. I don't know what you call that. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you got some meal ideas for this. Where possible, I will link below the recipes that I'm gonna be using this week with those ingredients. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next upload. Take care, guys. Bye.